equation 2x plus 1 equals 13. Now, this is an equation, and to solve it means that we want to find values, or value in this case, that will make the statement true. We can put any value in for x, but only certain values make it true. That's what we call a solution. So now if we follow the field axioms, we would do 2x plus 1, and we would add the additive inverse of this term to both sides. Use the associative property Combine the two together on this side. Now we use the inverse property. The identity property. And now we do the same thing but with multiplication. So we use the, uh, we choose the multiplicative inverse this time multiply both sides combine these two together use the associative property this is now the inverse property and the identity for multiplication we get x is equal to 6 so this is the proper way to solve one of these equations seems like a lot of steps of course most people just do have learned this shortcut which combines all the steps in once and they subtract from both sides and divide by two and you get the answer like that now what's the difference this one I actually can justify every single step that goes into it this one I really can't because these are not part of the additive inverse. Now, here's the thing that makes this solving an equation different from doing a trig identity. Here, what we're trying to do is we're trying to find what value makes this true and we find that it's 6. With a trig identity, it's different. So let's try one of those. Okay, so let's try one which is cosine theta plus tangent theta times sine theta is equal to secant theta. When we do this one, we're not trying to show that there's a value that makes it true. What we want to do is we're focusing on the equal sign. We want to know that the equality is true not that there is a so we're not trying to solve this there's no solution what we want to do is we're focusing on that term right there we want to know is that true the other one the one we were doing with the algebra we already know it's true it is a sentence it's saying this is a sentence some values make it true some that don't we want to know is this always true? So there's a difference here. Now, one of the common mistakes that is done is that you will see people do this like here, like so. So say we have, they will write the whole thing down again and maybe in the next step they will convert this, say cosine theta plus sine theta over cosine theta times sine theta equals secant theta. Now why is this wrong? Well the assumption is when you write a sentence down because these are essentially proofs is that this statement is true. Well I don't know this is true because I'm trying to show this so this is actually incorrect. I don't want to do this right here. Okay so to continue on with this would be to every sentence that I write every one of these statement sentences that I write down are all false because I don't know this is true yet I need to justify this statement right here 
So when you do trig identities, this is what I'm trying to show is true. To show, put that here. That's what I'm trying to show. So I begin my little proof. This is essentially what we're doing is we're doing proof writing. So I start with one side of the equation. Does it matter which side? No, because you have to work with it. But typically what you do is you just write from one side to the other. So this is my statement. I start with this. If this, then that, that sort of thing. So, but it's equality. So now I'm going to say, what do I need to, what could I do? So now I can do, well, I know the tangent is equal to sine over cosine. Right? Like this. That's something that from one, the trig identities I know has to be true. Now what I do, well, multiplication, let's just multiply these together. And we would get sine squared theta over cosine squared theta. So that's just multiplication. I know that's true. Then what do I do? I, I, I could say, well, they look like fractions. Let's just get a common denominator. So I would multiply this side by cosine over cosine. So that would give me cosine squared over cosine plus sine squared over th cosine squared. I mean over cosine. I get that. Now when I combine these together, this is just the property of adding fractions. I get this. And then we can use the Pythagorean identity of cosine squared plus sine squared is 1. Oops. And now my last step then would be, well, I know that my cosine is just secant theta. And so I have my answer that this thing is this because I can justify every single step. What are we justifying? Here we're justifying that equality sign. And in this one, we're looking for values that make that true when the equality is in existence. Okay, so that what works here? Solution. What values make it true? 